Welcome to the introduction to this four-minute film about the growing culture and arts community in Western Supermare from a Commission on Culture and Local Government. You will hear interviews with several cultural leaders from North Somerset Council about how they've invested in arts and creative industries as part of their placemaking strategy. They include Julia Stuckey, Super Western Project Manager, and Cara McMahon, Heritage Action Zone Officer. There are also interviews with Tom Newman and Fiona Matthews from Culture Western. During the interviews, there are images of the bustling high street, the treasured buildings and landmarks of the town, the promenade and seafront and the thriving street art scene in Weston with its array of colourful murals. We see the variety of the council's cultural projects, including outdoor photography exhibitions, hand-painted silk flags that billow above the shops on the high street, and the Sea Monster, an enormous recycled North Sea platform with its gardens in the sky, which spouts water on the seafront below. Construction workers wear high-vis turquoise vests that read Culture Makers, whilst they build the artist Tom Marshman's colourful shrine and poetry by local writers adorn the glass shelters in blue letters. We hear from those who have benefited from the investment in arts and culture. A couple of local residents, Emma and Michael, and local artists Matt Fleming, who is pictured holding a sign that reads Queer Tales of Weston, and the photographer Paul Blakemore. We also see some of the events designed and led by the local community, including the Climate Change Carnival with parades of joyous families and people of all ages. Some are in fancy dress, others dance, some wave hand-stitched banners and another group perform synchronised routines with swirling turquoise and orange umbrellas. This is all done in an atmosphere of celebration. Due to the nature of the film, audio description is kept to a minimum. The audio description was written by Emily Pollitt for Vocal Eyes. Commission on Culture and Local Government. Images of Weston's busy town centre. How can local culture support a sense of place and community? Julia Stuckey. The community of Weston is very community spirited. It's a seaside resort, uh, so it has its challenges like every other seaside resort. A big part of our place making campaign is to make the culture and arts and the natural environment and the built environment really accessible to all of our residents. So the Super Western placemaking strategy, the culture and arts is a really big part of that. We have a really strong and growing culture and arts community and they're very, very talented. That helps to encourage people to, to visit because it's something different. It also gives our residents a real sense of pride of the town. Emma. It's definitely on the up culturally. With online shopping and everything, people can end up sort of not coming into town for anything and not meeting their neighbours and not having the opportunities to gather that we're we're used to as humans so uh, I think it's re really important to give people some kind of focus and a reason to, to come into town and, and celebrate the place they live. Michael. We all know how quickly a place can slide into um, some serious disrepair and uh, become an uninhabitable and an unsafe place so by keeping a bit of pride in it and uh, keeping a uh, things going that will attract people, um, we, we give the place a, a great facelift that it constantly needs and keep the town centre alive. Cara. Historic England were fundamental in supporting us developing Western and its, and its unique heritage. They have funded our capital programme of work, restoring Walker and Ling, Fork and Ale and other buildings in Weston. And it includes a lot of trying to get people to really understand the beauty of Weston and feel part of Weston. 21st Century Super Shrines is a programme funded by Historic England. Some of our the shrines are physical, such as the bandstand behind me, and some are more about experience and gathering voices together. One of our shrine projects was with artist Tom Martin. He gathered lots of stories of sexuality and different experiences over the years and it was pieced into a brilliant audio trail. Matt. These cultural um, activities do improve a community. These are things that bring community together, especially the LGBT community that uh, can feel unheard and a, a voice uh, in the community that needs to be heard. Julie. We're stood in front of a fantastic art exhibition which we're hosting in Western Supermare. It's called The Sea Monster. It's part of a national unboxed project which is 10 events and festivals across the UK. Um, 
and we have a recycled North Sea platform and it's a big part of a culture and arts festival that we've had in Western this year. The Western Tom. Presents came about, it was initiated by the community manager for Sea Monster who initiated a series of community think tanks and from those conversations we developed a whole series um, of events and activities that were led and designed by the local community um, and that ranged from really small interventions like the things you see behind me, the poetry in the shelters, to really large um, events such as the Climate Carnival. Uh, overall I think there have been 50 plus events, We've, it's created work for uh, nearly 100 artists, there's been a thousand participants in all the different events uh, over the summer and um, it's really been a brilliant success. Paul. The work that Fiona and Tom from Culture Western have done has been extremely important for Western Supermare. I think in Western it's a massive part of the local community, yeah, there's, there, there is an underground scene of people working together and supporting one another and as we're getting pushed out of Bristol, as there's, there's pl less places to, to afford to buy, artists are generally kind of moving towards the coastal towns or places which are way more affordable so you do see more creativity happening. To find out more, search LGA Culture Commission, hashtag Culture Commission.